I'm Mel Stewart, and this is the Swim Swam Podcast. Joining me today, very special guest, a man that I love, Rob Kent, General Manager, Toronto Titans, and we are talking post-match seven, where he's scaring everybody. He's put the scare on the Cali Condors. <laughs> hey, I got to be honest with you. I think a lot of people are, are, you know, there are a lot of Cali Condor fans, but they're, I, yeah, I think that sure. you're gaining lots of fans because it, it's, I, I thought that, I thought match seven was yours. What happened? Well, Honestly, I didn't, you know, there's, there's the two sides to me. The, the one, the team rah, rah, cheer side, and we wanted to win it, and we did. And every, we were going into that thinking that way. But then there's the mathematical side of it and strategy and, and on paper. And we, we literally go through and work it out um, before the match and go through, okay, we should be down six here up four there we're going to lose 10 here we're going to get back 14 here depends what happens here and and so we have that strategy and then we we watch it through the whole match uh dylan and byron and i and we're oh we're up five of our prediction and everything so um we didn't well i was going to say we didn't think we'd win we didn't think it was a lock that we'd win we knew damn well it was going to be really really close and I was talking to Mark Foster before and uh, like before the match and he was saying, so what are your, what are your key races? And I'm going, they're all key. And there, there's none in there that um, we were expecting to win or expecting to lose or that wouldn't be important. They all were so important as, as the match showed. It's well, just from a fan standpoint and from what I'm seeing in comments and what I'm seeing because I'm on group texts and, uh, this, this, the reaction is that, uh, you guys are performing and, um, yeah. and, and, and it's great to see because we, we, we wanted to see some, we wanted to see some fight in season three and, uh, we're seeing that with your franchise, uh, and, and it's a, and it's, it's a breath of fresh air. So I, I think that, that moving into season four, season five, um, Yes, you get you guys are going to be the team to watch. Here's the thing: the uh, skins. It, it's we roll into the skins and Cali Condors. Just that's brutal. What 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 are you doing? Are you pulling out what remaining hair you have in your head when you when you roll into the skins? <laughs> to be honest with me. Well, um, the skins are tough. And last match, um, I hear you, man. <laughs> um, it's tough, but that it's supposed to be. It's the designed that way, and it's the designed to do exactly what it did tonight. Have we had two teams that had 475 points tied um, going into the last event, and I don't think any teams have ever been that close, let alone tied um, that late in in a match. And then the you're supposed to blow it open with with the skins, and that it and that's exactly what happened. And that you know. I even said this to some of the guys on the team and to Mark Foster before um, I said, you know, this is going to be a coin toss. You're not going to win every single coin toss. And we might, it, we'll be happy. If we scare the hell out of them. That's still a victory for us. These are defending champions and we put the fear of God into them. So, uh, and we did with uh, energy too, uh, that they weren't uh, expecting that. So, and I was talking to Jason Lezak after, and, and I said, um, honestly man the pressure's on you guys not to lose and we're the underdogs here and we can come in and and as our team showed we can uh, come in second and still be very happy with how we performed because our guys did like there was we've had so many national records we have 17 different countries on our team and everybody's swimming well and that isn't the case with every team out there like we drafted well which is great. And then our coaches uh, are getting everybody in, in shape and kudos to our team too, that, um, you know, there, there was, everybody came into this in pretty good shape and you can't say that with every team either. So um, again, it just shows the, the culture of our team. Everybody was uh, into it and everybody's having fun and everybody's uh, bringing everybody along and our coaches did a good job. You're uh, you're not calling anybody out, but 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 it has been said that some athletes did not show up in, in top form. And here's the thing: your uh, your swim stars are showing up. They're showing up event after event after event. And in sports, 
when when you show up and someone slips and there's a mistake made you are the beneficiary what do you have to do yep. going, what do you have to do going forward to be successful well and i've said this before like uh, as a gm uh a lot of my job's done by the time we get here you know um my job is to uh pick a good team and pick good staff and good coaches and everything and then get here and make sure everything runs smoothly um then you know let the swimmer swim and let the coaches coach and hope to hell that you did the right thing so uh in a week from now um well i guess well we're already thinking about next season but uh you know a week from now we have a break and then uh eindhoven and everything and then we're thinking about next season that that's what we have to do um for our swimmers and everything and our coaches they have to do the same thing they've been doing like you know as you said like not calling anybody out but there's lots of team lots of swimmers on lots of teams where they didn't show up and it's not looking real pretty and I, I don't have any problem with uh, anybody on our team. And I would say it, you know, I would say, you know, what's happening or whatever. And, and I'm, I'm very happy with our team. Are you, let's just say things weren't, aren't going well. Something happens. Take us inside the bubble. Are you a heavy handed GM? Do you, do you drop no. the hammer? No, no, I'm not that kind of guy. Um, I, I'll, I'll be brutally honest, but I, you know, uh, a, uh, no, I, I'm not. And uh, I don't think at this level that, or at any level, really, at least my personality is such that um, I don't think that people respond well to that. Maybe maybe some old school, and that's what I am from old school swimming in the 80s, um, where you had the crazy tyrants, uh, you know, screaming and yelling. And sometimes it worked in spite of themselves or because of them, but that's that's old school and that's that doesn't work. And, and I would, I wouldn't be like that. I would, I would take actions and things that need to be done to correct things, but heavy hand, it's just dumb. <laughs> I was, I was, I was hoping to, to, that you would say you threw chairs or, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> I worked on the trading floor uh, for uh, in banking for 25 years. And there's a lot of trading <laughs> broken phones and stuff like that. But even there it's high, high pressure. But I, that isn't how I deal with stress or pressure or, or people, for that matter. My understanding is that you've got some swim stars for me. Are they, are they showing up? Did, did you wrangle I them? I have one right here. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Now let me bring her in. You get Kylie Moss, one of our captains and uh, uh, literally a superstar. I'm going to slide out of the picture here so you get to look at her instead of the shiny part here. I, I haven't talked to you since you, since you picked up your, your Olympic hardware at the most recent game. <laughs> Coleman got to talk to you. but uh, yeah, with Maggie, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a big moment. Kudos to you. Uh, I mean, I, just out of curiosity, I want to talk about today but uh, and, and, and yesterday, but, you know, it's how, how – it, Toronto Titans seems like uh, everyone showed up. They showed up fresh. They showed up ready to race. And understandably, not everyone was quite that way because coming off such a huge emotional moment, you had a huge emotional moment at the Olympic Games. How did you rebound so fast and, and, and come in here as a fighter? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a little bit difficult. It hasn't been easy, I don't think, to kind of just have a really short break and then get back into the racing mode. Um, it certainly hasn't been easy, but I think just knowing that we were coming here and um, being together as a team and kind of seeing the sport a little bit differently, uh, having more relaxed approach to racing, I think is like the mindset I came into this with is just obviously coming off the Olympics, I wasn't going to have too high of expectations for myself, but I also know that I was at peak shape at the Olympics. So even if I did take you know, a week, a week and a half off, I know my body couldn't have changed that much. So I knew that I was in still in pretty good shape. So um, knowing that is, is confidence. And I think just, it makes it so easy to be able to come to a team like this, like Toronto and have familiar faces from last year last season, which was so fun. And then also have so many new faces as well, which I was excited to get to know and to learn from one another and just support one another through this. And I think a lot of, it did help as well, knowing that a lot of people 
on our team were also coming from the Olympics. So I think it's just a mutual understanding that everyone was kind of in the same boat and, and going through the same thing. So um, we were there to support one another. Help swim fans understand this. It's a huge emotional moment coming off of that. But I got to be honest with you. I'm caught up in the drama of ISL. And it seems like the Olympics are so long ago. Um, does it feel like they're long ago? Or does it feel like they're recent? Are you, are you fully immersed in the drama of the team competition right now? It honestly does feel like a long time ago. Um, and I feel like we've been here for so long already and it's going by so fast, but I think that's a testament to the team again and to, to the ISL just putting on such a fantastic um, opportunity for us swimmers to get up and race and to have fun and to be a part of something bigger than yourself. Um, swimming is such an individual sport and it is obviously a team sport as well on relays and stuff at, at a world and international level. But um, here it's just so different to get behind one another for points. It's all about the points and um, yeah, really just encourage one another and support one another. So it has been a blast and I'm, I'm so excited to, to be here and to be a part of it. Okay. So did it ever occur to you when you're just sitting around that, wow, I'm in one of the most competitive events on earth. Like if, if I had, maybe if I had chosen a different event or maybe it was a different time in history, I would just be crushing it. No people, everyone, you'd be, you'd be killing everybody by, by a couple body links. And it was just, but you are in the most competitive. I mean, the hundred backstroke is tough. Does that, do you ever like scratch your head? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> um, I think I did at the beginning. Yeah. But I think for a little bit now it's been that way and I've known the depth of the field and I've, I've known that it was going to be a challenge and it's going to continue to be a challenge with so many talented women in the field. And I think it's great. It definitely keeps me on my toes. Um, it keeps me motivated and inspired to continue to train and to continue to push myself to new levels and new heights. And um, I'm, I'm just really thankful to be an honor to be among such an incredible group of women. It's the, the, I, I'm always watching swim swam, like the matrix. I'm like, I'm watching the consciousness of, of all the swim minds out there. And I, and, and I, and I see it in traffic and I see it in, in, in comments and I see it. So you have a very large fan base globally and uh, you bounce the needle. People love you, but it's um, cause what, but there's something in terms of just in, in, in terms of what you're bringing this season to ISL. And it's, uh, it's, you've had some pivotal moments. Talk to me about the pivotal, what's, you're dying laughing. What is going on? Are you laughing or are you trying to hear? Fireworks outside. There's fireworks outside. Okay. What, so, what's what's so going loud. on? Can you hear that? Yeah. Everyone, everyone's <laughs> celebrating you. That's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. So if anybody's if anybody's listening to the pod and you're dropping in, she she can't hear me because there's fireworks going on outside. I don't know why. Is it is it like a holiday there? It's Naples. <laughs> it's Naples. It's Naples. It's Naples. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I missed your question. Okay, that you're back. You've had some pivotal moments in the last two days. Uh, you know, you 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 can you hear me now? <laughs> Barely. barely, barely. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you know, talk to me about, talk to me about your pivotal moments in the last two days. Yeah. You, 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 you did a great job in the mixed medley relay. And I thought that I, I thought this was going to be the edge for Toronto Titans. I know it's, it's so cool to, I mean, that's what makes this event so fun is to see the teams battle between one another and it comes down to every last point. <laughs> um, after the mixed relay, we were tied, I'm pretty sure, with Callie going into the skins. So it's so cool to have it be that close and to know that every point matters. And um, I think you know, being on a, on a mixed medley relay is something so cool and so special. And, um, fortunately today I was swimming next to girls, which I was thankful for because, um, sometimes swimming next to the guys makes it much more challenging and wavy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an honor to be on a medley relay and, 
Um, I'm trying not to think too much about my own times and about my own kind of stroke and how it feels and everything and really just get in there and have fun and, and be there for the team and try and pick up as many points as possible. Someone said, hey, you got to ask everybody about, about their team spirit. Uh, and, and particularly with you guys, it's, uh, it says Toronto Titans are, do you guys have the most spirit? Is it, is that what I'm hearing? I mean, I think so. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but, um, I do believe our team is so strong and so connected and it's, it is really special to see everyone come together. And a lot of us don't even know each other. Like there are some familiar faces from last season, obviously, but we have so many new faces and I feel like everyone just joined together and like meshed so easily and so quickly and um I do feel like we have an incredible team and an incredible bond and that is the foundation of like team spirit and getting behind one another so um I'm super fortunate to be a part of this team and I'm, I'm so happy I am I appreciate it so much you taking the time to talk to us is it do I have anybody else on standby yes you do you have the champion in the 400 I am I looked I <laughs> and, yeah, I slide out. and what, what's going on you, you're on a record run you're breaking records right and left is it uh what did, did, did you come with this with this plan in mind you're like I'm, I'm here to break records yeah I, I was thinking about it before going there because uh I was I improved a lot last year in long course and so I, I thought I could I could be good also in short course and uh, but I didn't thought to, to go this fast because uh, it's it's a it's not a, an easy period for for us because in September going so fast uh, without so much training after the Olympics is it wasn't expected like uh, like this but uh, I think the team spirit is really helping me I'm really enjoying every second in this team and uh, they're pushing me to do my best every race and so uh, I love this. Uh, I thought you were going, you broke the oldest record, oldest Italian record, the 400 short course meter I am. And I thought you were going to do it again tonight. Tonight, You're two one hundredths off. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. What happened? I'm disappointed. I'm mad. What happened? No, no, I, I'm happy with my race. I think, I mean, repeating the 401 is, is good. And uh, yeah, maybe if I, if I was able to, to go faster, it, it was better, but I mean, I did such a great uh, two fly today, and maybe I, I was feeling this two fly in, in during my breaststroke legs, especially. And uh, I mean, the, this, the most important part for me is going one two and one two with my team uh, in both races. So I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy about the Italian record also in the 200 fly today, and uh, obviously about the Italian record in the 400 I am uh, last week because it was a. Uh, an, an iconic record for Italy it was the the oldest Italian record, and uh, it was uh, of Luca Marin. So it, it's just an honor for me to beat this record. Two hundred butterfly, one fifty one point two for the win. Uh, it's it, you know most people that they can swim the four hundred am they they've got a great two hundred fly in their back pocket always. Uh, did you know you were going to win coming in tonight? Yeah, I was hoping for. I was looking at the at the field, and uh, I, I thought I, I could do the win in, in both races. I, I was hoping for it, and uh, like as I said before, the the cheering before the race just pumped me, and I was feeling so good in the water today, and uh, I wanted to win for me, for the crowd, for the Toronto Titans fans, and uh, for the the team because it's just amazing what we are doing. Well, of all the the ISL pro teams, I think that Toronto Titans have, have, have won the fan vote. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people weren't expecting you to be so close to the Cali Condors, and, but you scared them. And uh, it's a great position to be in in season three. Is this something that you anticipated coming into season three? Yeah, I think uh, we, we, we've, been, we've been surprising a lot of people because no one was expecting us to do this good. So... I'm happy to have helped the team in doing this and uh, I, I hope that uh, people are enjoying us and are cheering for us because uh, it's just great, this atmosphere that uh, the ISL creates and uh, uh, being so close to Cali Condors that uh, looked unbeatable before uh, this season uh, is, is a big achievement for the team and uh, uh, maybe next time uh, we will get it. Thanks for taking some time to talk to us today.